Hey everybody, Radio Garage back on the bench. Got a Galaxy DX 94 HP for David. Uh, just doing a quick um, results video here. He bought this radio off me, so I'm um, just going to show it on the spectrum analyzer here. 5 megahertz. Here we go. Nice and clean. Show 30. We got a little bit starting here that's negative 10 down, nothing to worry about. Um, and then we'll go out to 60. Show the second. We got a little bit right here, just creeping over negative 10. But uh, yeah, we're looking good. And then we'll go out to 150. You know, gotta remember this has an amplifier section on it, so it's not gonna be super, super clean. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we're really down in the mud here. Um, put a little bit of audio into it. I don't want to go too crazy because I'm going direct into this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, five, five. So, yeah, nothing crazy popping up. Looks really good. Um, took a while to get that tuned out the way um, I wanted it to be. So, happy with that. Show you the receive. While we're over here at the uh, test set, all right. Gonna show uh, S9. We'll start with. Sorry about that. All right. So there's. Let's try to get this so that it's not at an angle here. Okay. Yeah. See, it looks like it's at an angle, but it's. There you go. All right. And that is negative 73. And then we'll step. Oh, th yeah, I'm sorry. This is, uh, uh, where are we at here? Where are we at here? Gotta get to side view. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, 27204. Alright, that's S9. Now we'll go to AM. We'll take this up one. 205. And now we got our S9 for AM. And now we will um, see where our cyanide comes in for uh, signal to noise. See the kind of noise floor we have compared to our uh, signal. Alright, turn our volume back up. And start. Screen here. Drop this down. Okay, we are at do, do, do. Yeah, this came out pretty good. Not as hot as that RCI, but yeah, 107. 107.5, okay, I'll zoom in a little bit there, bottom left, here she's at 12, yeah, beautiful, and uh, she really shines on sideband, I'll show you that, we'll drop down to 204, we'll kick this over to um, lower, and then uh, I'll show you where this thing comes in at here. Okay, what did we do? It must have drifted on us a little bit. Yeah, let me just turn the clarifier here. As soon as you turn the clarifier, it comes right up. It drifted on me. It cooled down. So, uh, yeah, I got it up to all the way up to 16, 17. Yeah, right about here is probably the max. And then it won't drop out. Uh, whoops, I did the wrong thing here. And then, uh, where this doggone thing drops out at. For 12. 
Okay, this is yeah 118. So then once you once you get your clarifier set, yeah, she goes down to 118. You see that bottom left 12. Okay. So that's that. Yeah, it's a galaxy. It's gonna drift, unfortunately. So um, now with these. Let me get rid of this tone. Um, the, your your fine and coarse is unlocked, so this will move your transmit and receive on your inner knob, and then your outer pinch knob will just um, move your receive. So that's how they come from the factory. All right, let's get our dummy load in here and just go over this real quick. It was super. Super late, super tired, just want to get this last one done here for the day, trying to get a few new radios done. And uh, David asked if I would do a video, he's a, uh, he's a good dude, so just trying to help him out here, as I know he's not familiar with the radio. Alright, so just run over the controls here, you have talk back, we'll go over that, let's see how that works. Um, make sure my yeah, turn mic came back up. One, two, three, four, five. So there's our talk back. That works very well. And uh, what else do you have? You have your your mode selector, upper lower side band. You got your Roger BP or your SWR power meter switch. Um, now, if you want your frequency display off, you push this one all the way over. That'll kill your frequency display. Then you have your noise blanker, all right, and then noise blanker off. And here's your echo. Put that at the middle if you want echo. Whatever. Let's see. check the echo out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And then you got a voice changer. One, two, three, four, five. It makes it sound like a robot. Okay. And then you got your 10k jump, self-explanatory, jumps 10k, and then, uh, look at this David, you got your PA, because I know you were talking about that, uh, the 86V, it, you were a little bit concerned it didn't have the PA function, you wanted to hook that speaker up, so you got your PA function now, that's cool, glad that worked out for you. So that's the radio, and, uh, let's see what it's doing for power, so take it up here to the bird and as you guys know um, we're using the bird uh, 43 with the multiplier I have it in 1x so we're just reading whatever the slug is which is a uh, 100 watt slug and we'll see where our dead key is set so power all the way down is I mean I'm inside man all right there we go Uh, what did I do? Okay, oh, I got a, I got my talk back on. That's what's wrong. I had to turn the mic gain down. All right, power all the way down. It's about 2 watts. Power all the way up is about uh, just under 20. I think it's right about 20 with the, with the peak kit. Yeah, just under 20. Okay. Turn our mic gain up now, and we will see where she likes to modulate. Audio, one, two, three, four, five, 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 five. Yeah, she's putting that hundred in the corner. So she's big swinging. Um, yeah, good four to one on her. A little over four to one, actually. Um, I guess I could I could put my 250 watt slug in, but it's just it's just a little over 100 watts is what it's doing. Um, I'll turn turn the power down to about half. Let's see where it swings that power half. So let's see. Put the dead key down to dead key down to let's say 10 watts right here. 10 watts. Audio five 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 four 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 five. Yeah, almost still 100 watts. So you're gonna be happy with it. It's got good power. Um, 
the issues 100 plus or you know this is basically like a general HP 40 but with sideband so um, yeah, you really get everything with these and uh, yeah like I said this has a few blemishes on it so that's what I wanted to make you aware about um, this is what I meant well now my fingerprints are on there you got something to wipe that but uh, yeah I just wanted you to know that this one had yeah see it's just light scratches in the bezel um, case is in case is in really good shape uh, okay there's this side you know as you can see face you know all that's good um, oh this has the starlight face let me show you the starlight before we go here let me kill these lights let me show you that and then that should be everything all right. Oh, that's power. I gotta go this way. Yeah, you could see. Oh. Can you see it? Let me kill this other last light. All right. So yeah, now you can see the starlight better. Um, the only problem is it makes everything brighter. So I wish there was like an independent starlight um, knob, but yeah, unfortunately, everything. So you dim all your stuff which that's like kind of a nice level for the the channel display in the in the meter but then you, you don't have your star bright so definitely turn it down like this during the day um, for sure and to save your star bright and then yeah there's the star bright and it doesn't get super bright but well, it's not really showing up in the camera but yeah you could see it there alright I'm going to show you everything does work these lights back on um, so yeah guys I'm gonna start taking uh, repairs in again I just wanted to get a few of these uh, new radios out so yeah go ahead um, get a hold of me um, the radio garage at gmail.com or um, www.theradiogarage.com um, don't pay attention to the store guys I just I have no time um, for the store to be doing the inventory stuff. I tried it. It's just um, Yeah, it's way too time-consuming right now So if you guys want a radio or something just Fill out the contact form tell me what you want or shoot me an email tell me what you're looking for what you want I'll get you a price um, for now um, Definitely uh, gonna hopefully get my wife to help me out a little bit with the uh, getting the, the store inventory up and going but uh, she works every day too, so um, yeah, trying to find time for everything. It's always uh, it's always a problem. Not enough time in the day. But yeah, and I was just using uh, an Estatic 636 mic with it. So I think that's it, guys. I really appreciate everybody uh, if you stuck around this long and. Uh, we will be back with more radios, of course. The Radio Garage. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like. Leave a comment. Appreciate everybody that stops by and always says hello and waves a hand at me. So um, definitely appreciate the support. Radio Garage, we're off the key.